Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. In this problem, you're being asked to find the volume, that is, capital V, of the square pyramid. So we have a square pyramid here, and we're going to start by writing our volume formula. We said that the volume of any pyramid is going to be one-third the base area times the height, which we related to the volume of a rectangular prism where the bases are congruent and the heights are both congruent. So let's go back and let's say that the volume is equal to one-third base area times height. Well, we need to find base area and we need to find height. The base area, well, that's going to be easy to find because we're told that we have a square pyramid. And we're given one side of that square, so our base area is going to be 30 centimeters squared. Well, 30 squared is 900. So we're going to say base area is equal to 900 square centimeters. So the missing piece here is our height. And our height is that perpendicular segment from the vertex to the base. And the only way that I'm going to find that is to use the Pythagorean theorem. But how did I know to use that? Well, I saw right here that this slant height is 17 centimeters. And I saw that if this is 30 centimeters, then this must be the midpoint since we have a square right pyramid. And I can find this other missing side, which means I can find my height. So let's draw this triangle right over here that I'm talking about. Just to get a better idea of where these numbers come from. In geometry, a lot of times if you're trying to find a missing length, you're probably going to need the Pythagorean theorem. So here we said that this was half of 30 centimeters. So that's going to be 15. And we said that our hypotenuse here was this 17 centimeters. So I'm going to write 17. Now at this point, you could plug it into the Pythagorean theorem, but hopefully you still have your Pythagorean triples memorized. So that way you can just say this must be 8, because 8, 15, 17 is a Pythagorean triple, which means that your height must be 8 centimeters. So we said height is 8 centimeters. So now we just need to plug that in. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to say volume is equal to 1 third, our base area, which is 900 square centimeters, times our height, which is 8 centimeters. So a third of 900 would be 300. 300 times 8 would be 2400. So volume is equal to 2400. We have centimeters squared times centimeters, so that's going to be cubic centimeters. So the key to this problem was not only realizing what your volume formula was, but that you could use the Pythagorean theorem to find your height so that you could calculate your volume. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. <laughs> <laughs>